Good morning there, Year 3. Welcome to your English lesson today. So, the, before we begin, I have a little retrieval question for you. Remember our fabulous video yesterday? It was so funny, wasn't it? I really, really enjoyed it about the archaeologist and that really mm, relaxed camel. <laughs> it was great. Now then, I've got some questions. So, the first thing is, I've put some pictures onto your worksheet but I haven't put them in order. Could you sequence those pictures to make sure that it's in the correct order of events that happened in the, in the video, in the story? And once you've done that, okay, you need to orally retell the story to see if you're correct. So I would like you to pause the video here, and then you're going to, and if you want to, you can either cut them out and put them in the right order, or if you can't, print out your worksheet you could just number them so you know which one is which and then I want you to orally tell the person in the room or even your teddy bear the story again pause the video here do that now okay welcome back so let's move on to our lesson today oh I'm over tooting car moon's head there that's not very good is it <laughs> okay um today then our learn objective is to use expanded noun phrases now I know that you would definitely would have done this in year two so we're going to go over them again so we're really really clear in our minds what we need to do and to be successful at this we need to be able to identify a noun in a sentence we also need to be able to identify the determiner in front of my noun. Now, the determiner is very easy. And when you realise what those words are, you'll go, oh, yeah, I know that. It's just these words that describe those um, important parts of grammar. To also be successful, you'll need to be able to select the vocabulary carefully to make sure it has impact when you're a writer and for the reader to read. That you can separate adjectives by using commas. Now that's really key when we have these expanded noun phrases that contain two adjectives. We must remember our comma, that piece of really important punctuation. And adding in a prepositional phrase. So where this thing is, above, below, next to, under, in the distance. Okay, you're gonna be really successful at this today, year three. I just know it. Okay, let's move on then. So, a noun phrase. What is a noun phrase? Well, a noun phrase is a simple phrase built around a noun. It contains a determiner and a noun. Now, a determiner is the word placed in front of a noun to specify quantity. So, for example, one dog, many dogs. Or to clarify what the noun refers to, my dog, that dog the dog okay so here i've got some examples a a tree the cat an apple why is it not a apple why is it an apple do you know that reason let's see ah okay so the reason why it's an apple is because any noun that starts with a um one of the vowels one of our five vowels can you recall our five vowels they're A, E, I, O, U. If your word starts with any of those five vowels, it must um, have a determinant of an. We don't say a apple, a orange. We say an apple, an orange. Okay. So that's really key to remember that our five vowels, which I always use on my hand anyway, because it's a good reminder, must always start with an. My mum, that's another one too. So a noun phrase, it doesn't stand independently, it is not a sentence. A noun phrase is exactly what it says, a phrase. It's not a sentence, it doesn't contain a verb, it doesn't have a full stop because it is not a complete sentence. It is just a phrase. And that's something really key to remember while we are writing. You couldn't just use a noun phrase as a complete sentence, okay? Really important to remember that. Okay, let's move on. So can you identify the noun and the determiner in these noun phrases? You have this on your worksheet. So pause the video here and see if you can remember and identify. Okay, welcome back. Did you do that? Let's see. So we have in the first one, A is the determiner, car is the noun. 
that is the house that is the house <laughs> so sorry that is the determiner house is the noun these is the determiner children is the noun two is the determiner dogs is the noun did you get those fantastic you're smashing it today well done okay so an expanded noun phrase we've talked about what a noun phrase is determiner noun that's it S can't be standalone it's just a phrase it's not a sentence so now we're going to have a look at an expanded noun phrase we're adding a bit more detail in there now so an expand uh, expanded <laughs> i cannot speak today can i start again <laughs> an expanded noun phrase adds in more detail to the noun by adding one or more adjectives remember an adjective is a word that describes the noun so the expanded noun phrases still have your determinant and noun really important but now they have the adjectives in there to get a bit more information okay so for example we have some pictures here a huge tree a is the determiner, huge is our adjective, tree is our noun. Some colourful sweets, some determiner, colourful, adjective, sweets, noun. Now, I hope you're noticing, but we've colour coded them. So when you see them, you can spot them because you're going to have to do a little job in a minute with those colours. OK, and then my last one here, the determiner, large towering two adjectives now because we have two adjectives do you remember when we talked about the success criteria we had to make sure that we were using a comma if we had two adjectives and there is our comma that we've used can you see that so we always must use a comma between our two adjectives really important so we have the which is the determiner large towering there are adjectives castle are a noun so when we use two or more adjectives to describe our noun we must separate it with a comma really important try and remember that jot it down on your worksheet say it to yourself must remember that key piece of information there okay i've got given you another one now now we've got noun determiner and adjective so on your worksheet can you, if you have got coloured pencils, that would be fabulous. Could you underline the noun in blue, determiner in green, adjective in red? That's it. Well done. Could you do that for me now? Pause the video. Have a go.